Well, and you know what's more important than basketball? Nothing. Literally nothing. Uh, hunting with your old man. No, that's not what I'm Oh, yeah. Not even close. In terms of things that are important, hunting with your old man is like right at the top of the list. I would say when I was 16, my world kind of revolved around sports, a lot like Landon's does. I grew up in a hunting family. My dad always hunted, my brothers hunted. It was something that like, I really liked to do. Um, I wouldn't say it was as high a priority as it's become later in my life. You know, it was just because of the, the family time, getting out with my brothers and my dad, having a laugh. You know, those are memories that I have and I think about often. Uh, probably like three, two, three, really? Let's I think my sense of time has, has kind of caught up. I, I want to spend time with my kids. There's some cheese there, Lando. Your kids grow up so fast. I sp spilled root beer on my plate and it got the bun all wet. So now I just got to eat the dog. You don't like a soggy bun? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like Landon was, you know, just a toddler yesterday. I think you should. I think you should at least try it with a root beer soaked bun. So I've got a deer tag. Landon's got a deer tag, and then yesterday when we pulled into town, we stopped and bought Landon uh, an elk tag. So it's a youth any bull tag. I figured for hundred and five dollars, you probably ought to put an elk tag in your pocket just in case. And right out of the gate. First thing we see today is a bull elk. Let's see what he is. He moved yet? Nope, he's still standing there. He's just chilling. Yeah, he's straight chilling. If I can find him, everything looks the same over there. He's moving just... his head around a bunch. How can you not find him? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, he's right there. Look at him. Oh, I know, I can see him with the naked eye. I just can't find him on the spotter yet. Oh, you can zoom good right now, Dad. Can you? Yeah, look at him. What do you think? He's an elk. Mm -hmm. Where's he gonna go, Lando? Uh, did you check and see if he's actually four point? Yeah, I better, huh? You gonna shoot him if he's legal? Okay. <laughs> he's only a th three. He's only got one eye guard. I don't think he's legal, Lando. If he had two, he'd be legal. Dang it, Lando. You got five o'clock shadow. Just throw those pork chops out. Well, I will until I can do it. <laughs> get rid of them when I get back. You're gonna shave them? Yeah. Why? Let them grow in. Shake. <laughs> he looked embarrassed when you said it. I wasn't. I just was actually just kind of like thinking what you were trying to go for. Uh, so this afternoon, we kind of edged over into another canyon that I thought looked good. We hiked off the road maybe half a mile. But there's another one with it. It's also a doe. That means they're up on their feet feeding. Should start popping up here pretty quick. It looks like really good deer country. Um, I think there's more deer here than what I'm seeing. It's been hot today, so I don't think the evenings are going to be that great. Might be a good spot for tomorrow morning when the sun comes up or back. <laughs> you know, what Mom used to say mm. you would put your you put your bottom lip out like this when you were pouting. Mm -hmm. She'd say, better put that lip back in or a bird's going to poop on it. <laughs> that is not what she would say. That's what she would say. No, you're lying. Nope, true story. No I 
hard time believing that there's not deer in it. I just haven't seen them yet. So I'm just gonna keep glassing. But this morning we woke up and it was a little rainy. Not too bad, but just a little bit. It's just kind of flat gray today, which makes things hard to see. We're just gonna spend the morning glass on this face. Lennon's a big morning person. He's like super pumped to be awake at 6.30 in the morning, huh, Lando? Does it here? There ought to be a buck floating around somewhere. My does. My does. My does. My does. Lift, lift the wire. Just lift it. What? <laughs> what? Just push, push that pole in and lift that wire up. There you go. My left arm is very weak. Do you know? Yep. Go. I think it's got to be a bug. Its face is as white as snow. That's all I'm talking about. Is it right there in front of those trees? Let me get my spotting scope. Come tell me if you want to shoot this deer. Huh? Yeah, I'd shoot him. He would shoot him? Dropped it. I did. Good <laughs> shot. Great shot, buddy. <laughs> Great shot. I'm so proud of you. That was awesome. Good shot. How you feel? Pretty good. Man, you just made a great shot. Oh. 
You didn't jack get... Did you jack another bullet in? Or oh, not? I think I did actually, okay. but I put it on safety again. All right, well, let's jack it. Actually, we'll leave it on. We'll just double check to make sure. Yeah. And then we'll uh, we'll go up and make sure that he's finished. But I, I watched him drop. Okay, you do have another one in. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, we'll put this one in, but we just want to make sure he's totally dead. We'll keep it on safety, okay? Okay. I couldn't tell if he's a three-pointer or a four-pointer. I, I think the love of hunting that I've had, you know, that's kind of developed over my lifetime, it's even been that much more amplified in hunting with my kids. Oh, nice. Right on. Yeah, that thing is weird, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that thing is crazy looking. Yeah, three-point. Yep. Two three-points in two, three weeks, two weeks. And my last one was four. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got yeah, definitely four. Dude, nice buck. I don't know how to put it into words, to be honest. It's like, uh, it's a sense of accomplishment. It's uh, love and connection. It's just, it's kind of a euphoric special feeling. And there's, there's really nothing better than seeing your kids have success at something that they want to do. bottom of the rib. You packing two hindquarters this time? Yeah, if you want me to. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> When I was a little kid, I saved up the labels off of the Heinz ketchup bottles. Yeah. And then I, when I sent enough of them in, I got a free t-shirt. And it had, <laughs> had a bottle of ketchup on it. And it had like all the Disney characters. And it was like this big, you know, on the front. It was white. That was my favorite shirt. I got it from saving up the ketchup labels. Frosted really, really hard last night. It was like 25 degrees or something. We were driving over this morning, so it's pretty cold and calm. And I don't know, it's pretty. I like it. I would think it would get some deer up moving around, you know. Been bedded all night, cold. There was hardly no moon at all. How'd you sleep last night, Lando? Good. You went straight to bed. Yeah, it did. It just kept poking me, so I kept waking up. Yeah, I was poking the bear just to see what you were doing. Yeah, why? <laughs> just checking on you. I thought it was going to burn off this morning and be really good glassing with the sun kind of coming up at our backs and highlighting this ridge, but... Can't see much at all. Oh, well, pretty well socked in. I think there's going to be a buck come out tonight. Mm. Sure. <laughs> Dude, you don't really think there is, do you? I don't. What? Uh, maybe? You have to manifest these things. I, 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 I don't know. The right buck? Probably not. Like the what? Like the, like the what do five I, percentile that you'll actually shoot? <laughs> probably not. What do we'll I always probably, say? What we'll, do I always say to you we'll when, I, when you're at the foul line? What do I say? See it go in. <laughs> See it. I just go right over there and glass that bench. It's a two point. Just one lonely two point up by himself. I said, Landon, how many deer are we going to see tonight? He said, less than 10. And I think we're going to see more than 10. And I bet him a Dairy Queen Blizzard. And so far I'm at three, so I just need seven more. But I've, I'm picking up deer just like super fast. It's very likely now. I did not think we were going to see as many as, we, as we've been seeing. But 
looks like there's a very high chance that we might, I might buy him a blizzard. I got another deer landed. in. That's four, four and a half deer I've seen. Because I've seen two coyotes. We determined the coyote is a quarter of a deer. Oh, number six. Five and six, bro. That's six and a half, dog. Where are they? This one's a buck. Yep. He's a shooter for sure. There's two deer in the, in the same little screen right there. And we're gonna kill him tomorrow. I just gotta figure out where that's at. Yeah, he's running those doves hard. You see that? He just ran them out. Oh, I'm at like 15 or 16. It's a tough loss. What can I say? Didn't think we'd see that many, but because he's just too much of a sniper. I can't even see anything. And he's found 15. <laughs> I don't know how he does it, but... <sighs> Hopefully we have some good luck tomorrow and we go shoot one of them. Chicken fajita bowl. Um, now let's go pesto. Beef stroganoff. Pesto. pesto Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> no crab <laughs> Yellow curry, chicken pesto. Chicken pesto or alfredo. Which one? Whichever one you grab first. Alright. Dough. Yes. Gosh dang it. But there's actually two. Maybe the buck will walk out here in a second. Maybe. Don't do it. Come around. Turn around. It's four point. Should we go shoot him? Yes. They're going to be late back to the truck. So they're going to be late back to the truck. By the time I'd, I'd made the hard decision to, to shoot him, uh, I'd made so much movement that I ended up bumping him and he ran off. And I was pretty upset with myself that I didn't just make the decision before I even got there and then take the shot because it was a, a golden opportunity. So I was pretty bummed out. Sorry, Landon. Four cheese, mashed potatoes. Candy lines. This will be Landon's first time. Hunting with my kids has, has been really enjoyable. It sparked in me the love that I had for hunting that sometimes wanes a little bit because hunting can be hard. Okay. I hope that Landon, you know, looks back on this trip fondly. I hope he remembers how much I love him and uh, how much I care for him and just how much I want him to appreciate, you know, nature. And, and the gift that it is in our lives. Man, I did good, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow! Six does out in the flat. Six does. I'm getting fat in the flat. Having a chit-chat. I think that big buck we saw two nights ago I haven't been able to see him again. I'm 
wondering if maybe he's just cruising through the country checking does. And if he didn't find one that was hot and ready to go, he may have just moved on and checked some other does. I always hate this part. I just don't want it to get tanned. But you're ready for it too, huh? Fuck. You're ready for it to end up. Fuck. I need to go home. Thanks for putting up with me this whole time. I really appreciate your coming out with me. Whatever you're ready. Can I get a medium uh, Reese's cookie dough blizzard? Medium cookie dough? Yeah. I'm so dirty. Goodness. I'm ready for a shower. <laughs> Isn't it kind of nice to be that dirty though? No. No? <laughs> Every now and then? No! Mmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Worth it. This is really good. Thanks, Lando. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming, bud. That was fun. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to me. It takes some time out of your schedule to come home with your old man. Is this the longest you've ever been without showering? <laughs>